Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to backup and restore group policy objects in Active Directory. Group policy objects are vital components of Active Directory. They control the behavior of users and computers in Active Directory by applying policy settings. An accidental deletion or modification of GPOs can therefore adversely impact the Active Directory environment. Group policy objects backup can be useful in situations where one or more GPOs need to be restored or in a test environments where changes need to be rolled back on a regular basis. GPO backup will help protect group policy object from unwanted changes as you can restore them whenever required. So it is highly recommended that GPOs be backed up regularly. A group policy management console can be used to backup and restore the GPOs. Windows PowerShell simulates also give a simple way to backup and restore group policy objects. In this video, we will see the steps on how to backup and restore GPOs using group policy management console. For this demo, we have single domain active directory forest name amasaptivebcast.com. We have two Windows Server 2022 domain controllers in our active directory domain. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. From the server manager's tool menu, select group policy management. Backing up GPO is fairly easy. It can be done for a single group policy object or all group policy objects in the domain. First, let's take a backup of all group policy objects. Right click the group policy objects container and select backup all. A pop-up window will appear. In the first field, type or browse the folder location path where the backup will be stored. I have created a folder called GPO backups on the D drive of this domain controller. It's also a good idea to add a description and a date for this backup. Now click the backup button to start the backup process. Wait until the backup progress bar completely filled in. You can check the status at the bottom where it will show how many GPOs were backed up successfully. If all the GPOs have successfully backed up, then we are good to go. In our case, 7 GPOs were successfully backed up. Click OK. As you can see, it's very easy to backup group policy objects in Active Directory using Group Policy Management Console. Open File Explorer and go to D Drive. Access GPU Backups folder. The backup for group policy objects will look like this. Each folder represents a single group policy object that has been backed up. Now let's see how we can backup a single GPU. Go back to Group Policy Management Console. Let's edit the existing GPU named Taste GPU 2. Right click the Taste GPU 2 and select Edit. Maximize the window. In the Group Policy Management Editor, go to User Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates and click on Start Menu and Taskbar. Double click Add Log Off to the Start Menu setting. Enable the setting, click on Apply and OK. Close the Group Policy Management Editor. To backup a single Group Policy object, First, expand the Group Policy Object container. Select the GPU you want to create the backup. In our example, right click the Taste GPU 2 and select a Backup. The backup location path is already mentioned. If it is not mentioned, then specify the location where you want to store the backup of this GPU. Type Description. After entering the location and description, click on Backup. GPO backup was successful. Click OK. So this way, we can take a backup of any single group policy object using Group Policy Management Console. Now, 
that the backup is done, it will be easy to restore the GPO using this backup when needed. Administrator can restore a modified GPO back to the state where it was backed up or restore a deleted GPO as well. Let's look at how to restore a GPO. Right click on the group policy objects container and select manage backups. By using the browse button, you can select the location of the backup folder. In our example, the correct backup folder location is selected, which is GPO backup on E drive. When the backup folder has been selected correctly, it will list all the backed up GPOs in there. You can select a single or multiple GPOs to restore. Select restore to restore the selected GPO backup or select delete to delete selected GPO backup. Before performing a restore, it is best to verify the settings in the backed up GPO. To do that, select the backup GPO name that wants to be restored and click on view settings. The GPO settings will be displayed in HTML format, which is nice enough to review. Everything related to this GPO will be shown such as the backup date, where it was linked, the delegation settings, and of course the users and computers policy settings. After verifying all the details, now close the web page. In this example, I want to restore test GPO to group policy object. Remember, we have two backup version of test GPO 2. I'm selecting the first backup version that was taken when we backed up all GPUs together. Select test GPO to backup and click on restore. A confirmation pop-up will appear. Click OK to continue. Test GPO 2 succeeded. Click OK. Now click on close. Right click the test GPO 2 and select edit. Maximize the window. In Grip Policy Management Editor, go to User Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates and click on Start Menu and Taskbar. Check the status of Add Logup to the Start Menu setting. This policy setting was not configured during the first backup, so it won't be configured here. Close the Group Policy Management Editor. So we can confirm that we have successfully restored taste GPO to group policy object from the first backup. Now let's delete the taste GPO to group policy. Right click the taste GPO 2 and select a delete. Click yes to delete the GPO. So taste GPO 2 is deleted successfully. Now right click on the group policy objects container and again select manage backups. Let's restore the test GPO to group policy object. This time, I'm selecting the second backup version that was taken when we backed up the single GPO. This is the version, and if you are not sure which is the latest version of that specific GPO, then you can select this checkbox, show only the latest version of each GPO. Now we can see we have the latest backup of our test GPO to group policy object. Select the GPO backup and click on Restore. A confirmation pop-up will appear. Click OK to continue with the restoration. Click OK. Now click on Close. We have successfully restored the latest version of Test GPO 2. We can confirm that the Test GPO 2 is back in Group Policy Objects container. Right-click the Test GPO 2 and select Add it. Let me maximize the window. Under user configuration, expand policies, expand administrative templates and click on start menu and taskbar. Check the status of add logout to the start menu setting. This policy setting was configured during the second backup, so it will be configured again this time. And we can confirm this setting is currently enabled. Close the group policy management editor. We can confirm that the taste GPO 2 is back in the group policy objects container, but under links, we can see it is totally empty. Earlier, taste GPO 2 was linked with the taste OU container. Let's right click on group policy objects and select manage backups. Select the taste GPO 2. This is the latest version. 
and click on view settings. And links verify that it is link with our test OU. So I'm going to link this GPO back to the test OU. Let's right click on test OU and select link an existing GPO. Select test GPO2 and click on OK. Perfect. Since we have manually deleted the test GPO2, the link to test OU is also deleted. So after restoration, you will get your GPO back, but you won't see the link to specific OU, which was earlier. So in our case, we have test GPO2 back in our group policy objects, but the link to test OU2 was not there. The reason is pretty simple because we have deleted that. Suppose if you have your GPO under group policy objects and you restore that GPO from the backup, it won't change the GPO link to specific OU or domain. The GPO will remain linked with those OUs which was before the backup restoration. I hope now you have a better understanding on how to backup and restore group policy objects in Active Directory using GPMC. That's all for this video on how to backup and restore group policy objects in Active Directory. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.